What's up guys, we're back with another Marvel Legends review, taking a look at the most recent Walmart exclusive, which, well, I was worried it was going to be a problem, but it turned out to be just fine. So we're taking a look at the very classic, very comic Doctor Strange. Now this is one that I have really been looking forward to, uh, not just because it's a comic book figure, but because this is a pretty big hole in the comic collection when it comes to Legends. I can't think of the last time this guy actually, in this form, was in the line. I mean, Toy Biz? I don't, I don't remember. Before, I really cared about them, if, if anything. Uh, we've got modern versions, we've got what-if versions, we've got MCU versions, but this is the version that I've wanted and the version that I've needed for a long time. So I'm really happy to finally get a chance to take a look at this guy. So, of course, we've got him here, you know, in our standard Marvel Legends style packaging. Figure there in the window, you've got the Doctor Strange logo down there on the bottom. Uh, you've got some artwork of uh, Doctor Strange on both sides, and then the back of the box has a larger shot of that artwork, and then a little bit of a bio for the good Doctor. So, yeah, let's do it. Let's pull him out and take a look. And here we go, out of the package, our classic, super classic Doctor Strange figure. Again, this is one that I have truly been looking forward to because it seemed like such a big hole in the line. And, you know, that happens a lot where we'll think, oh, we've got everything, and you realize that, well, we never got a classic Doctor Strange, or we never got a classic this or a classic that. We've got classic-ish stuff. We've got stuff that's older, but this is a pretty classic Doctor Strange. And when it comes to comic stuff, I mean, the, the more classic, the better for me. So uh, I'm really excited about this guy, and, and I think we've got a solid figure on our hands. He's not perfect, but there is a lot to like, and if you've been wanting a classic Strange like I have, you're probably going to have wanted to pick this up. So uh, let's see what he can do. See how he moves around. He's pretty normal. Like, there's not a whole lot crazy going on with this guy. Uh, we've got a head that can look up a little bit. He can look down a little bit. You know, the cape's going to obscure him a little bit. You've got rotation, but of course the, the collar is going to get in the way. Your arms do go out at the shoulders. Cape's going to get in the way. Rotation, cape's going to get in the way. Uh, there is no bicep swivel on this guy. What instead is that we've got deep cut single jointed elbows with rotation. So he is pinless by virtue of that, but he's not pinless double. Uh, maybe not the biggest deal. It's not been even remotely a problem for me, especially just to get him into some spell casting poses. Works just fine. And it is pretty seamless. We've got our hinges and rotation at the wrist. You've got your ab crunch. So he goes backwards. A good bit. You do have to fight the cape, obviously, but he still holds it pretty well because the cape is actually attached to this guy. And for better or worse, it's sort of a good thing and a bad thing. You know, you can't readily just take it off if you wanted to because there are instances where Doctor Strange does not wear this cape, but he, he can't. Uh, you'd have to cut it out from under the eye of Agamotto there. Uh, otherwise, it holds it on him perfectly. Like, for a plastic cape, it is held on him really, really well, and it doesn't really impede his articulation too much as a result. So, back to it, he can go forward about that much. And then you've got your waist twist, of course. Uh, legs, he can kick out on that side about that far, because they did give him a split on the back, or the back side of the, of the, you know, the skirt piece, as it were. There is no split on this side, though, so he only goes out about that far. But it's still capable of getting into, like, a cross-legged sitting position if you want to have him up on a flight stand with his legs crossed hovering in the air. He's still capable of doing that. Legs go forward about that far. This one, not as much. You know, if you wanted to, you could cut another slit, you know, kind of mimic the slit on this side to make it work. You're going to have to mod the figure to do that, obviously. You've got a thigh cut. We've got double-jointed knees. You're going to have a, you know cape getting in the way. Again, that's that's a theme with, with any figure with a plastic cape, right? It's not too surprising. We've got uh, our shin swivel down here, and then you've got your regular old rockers and ankle hinges down here at the feet, so normal stuff there. What I really like, though, you know, outside of the fact that, uh, you know, he looks great, just from a general perspective, right out of the box, he looks pretty great. Uh, they did preserve a lot of articulation despite him having what is still a very big cape. Like, this is a big piece of plastic, but what they did by cinching it to him on the chest, it does help him move quite a bit. Now, of course, that does get in the way of you wanting to take it off, or if you don't like cutting things off of your figures to add a soft goods cape, this guy is going to be a problem in that regard. But if you just like your figures right out of the box, and you hate plastic capes that just sort of flop all over the place, 
this guy is not going to have that problem. So in many ways, I do like what they did with that. Now, of course, my main interest here is going to be the looks. And, you know, not just because it's something I say a lot and it's a big focus for me. It's because when you want a very specific version of a figure, it's going to be because of how he looks. You know, I could get another Doctor Strange and be just fine. I've got, I've got a couple others somewhere. Uh, I think the one I have most readily available is the What If version. And that's a good figure, too, but it's not this Doctor Strange. And there's a lot about this figure that exudes a very old classic comic vibe. And not just the, it's not just the costume, it's not just the colors. A lot of it is the hair sculpt, the mustache, and this portrait on his face. There is a lot of attention that went into this guy being very classic. Uh, so I am really happy with him. Again, you know, I've kind of, I've kind of mentioned this already. I really like the cape. It's not perfect, and I do have some issues with the paint on mine. Uh, there is some splotchiness going on. And, you know, I say this, and I'm probably still going to try to find a replacement for it. I, I'll have no issue chopping this cape up and, and you know, salvaging the Eye of Agamotto to, to use a soft goods cape. I've already seen a few good examples of that out there. But if you want your figure just to be out of the box, this is probably one of the better plastic capes I've done in a really long time because of how it sits on him. Uh, it does cinch to that chest very well, and it doesn't throw him off balance despite being very much attached to him. You can't really have much wiggle room because of that, but he also doesn't need it. Uh, I think it's, it's you know, it flows really well. The, the posture of the cape looks nice. The overall colors are really bright and vibrant. Again, I do have uh, some paint slop. It's not by any means the cleanest paint when it comes to that yellow detail. But he does look really good, and I am surprisingly okay with this cape. Uh, it doesn't hit the ground, so it doesn't, you know, mess him up in terms of just being off kilter all the times, like a lot of those capes that are just too long. And then, of course, you've got his tunic here, which does look really nice. I do think that maybe the symbol on his chest could be a little bit brighter. It does kind of get lost at times almost, but it looks good otherwise. Paint is really clean there for me. Uh, his belt looks great, and it helps, of course, to break the figure up just a little bit. You've got all the spots on his gloves, and you've got the yellow spotless hands, which, you know, I assume if I, there's got to be at least one or two other figures out there with yellow hands, you could swap them out if you want to get some other ones, maybe Cyclops, Morph, maybe, but he might be a different shade of yellow. I can't remember. That's not really that important, uh, but he does look really good. I think we've got like, these are like the Sunfire legs down here. So just standard black legs and feet, but that's fine. Normal stuff down there. And again, though, the head sculpt, it cannot be understated here. Uh, it is tremendous. It's really well done. The detail on it is fantastic. The, the slight scowl that he's got, like he doesn't look like he's super stoic or just sort of bored. There is a little bit of, a, of an expression to the, to the eyes. The mustache, really well done. And again, it very much paints that sort of 70s look on him almost. The way the hair is sort of sculpted, those gray uh, stripes that run down the sides of his head, it all looks fantastic. And, and again, it gives off that specific vibe and that era of Doctor Strange, and that's what I've wanted. So to see all of this in place on the same figure at the same time, you know, he's not perfect. Dude. I do have some issues with the paint applications on my cape, but otherwise, He's pretty damn solid. This is a really good interpretation of a classic Strange. And again, if, if it's something that you've had a hole for on your shelf, he's going to fill it really, really nicely. He's going to fit very well in this particular era uh, of Marvel when it comes to throwing him up against a bunch of other characters. Or just if you need a very normal, what everybody expects of style of figure when it comes to Doctor Strange. Now, as far as accessories goes, the Doc has a pretty solid spread. Uh, I'd say that he has more than average, for sure, because, you know, he's an exclusive. And there's certainly some, some things I wouldn't have expected to have gotten in a regular wave release. Maybe, I don't know, some deepish cuts, but not two out there, I suppose. So to start with, we've got some extra heads. Uh, we've got his uh, eyes closed meditating head sculpt, which I really like. It's going to be hard for me to decide which one I want to display him with when it comes to these two, because both have their uses and both are going to be very, very impactful in the right pose. I like this is definitely one if you've got him up on a flight stand or something, legs crossed, floating in the air, this kind of thing. It's going to work really nicely. So that looks great. And then we've got the, I mean, I'm, I, so I assume this isn't one that we see a lot these days, right? You know, I'm not all that caught up on modern stuff. 
but this was the the masked head sculpt that he had. So this, of course, very much a classic Doctor Strange thing. I think this is a Silver Surfer head, if I had to guess. I mean, it's got to be, right? Uh, so it's just kind of like a matte blue, which very much matches uh, his costume. And then he's got these nice metallic green eyes. I have no expectations that I'm ever going to display him like this, but this is undoubtedly a very classic Strange thing. So it fits. Uh, as far as hands go, we get two extras. So he's, of course, got these spellcasting hands on him in the box. You get a right gripping hand, and you get a left fist. Uh, now, one thing to note is that if you've got other characters that have this shade of yellow, there's nothing on these. So, you know, maybe if Cyclops' hand or something is the same shade, or anybody else, I don't know. How many yellow-handed characters are there? Not that many. But they might be able to swap out, so you might have a few extra options there. Uh, we've got a couple of his uh, energy effects. And these are these are ones that I actually kind of like still. You know, we uh, energy effects are very you know, reuse heavy when it comes to Legends. So we've got two of these, and these are definitely the more mystical side of things when it comes to the, the, the effects. It's not the bubble effect that, that we see a lot of times. Uh, so you've got these two with, with orange and then a darker orange accent on them. So of course, one for each hand works really well. And then we've got some, again, sort of pseudo deepish cut stuff. So we've got the Wand of Watum. It's upside down. Uh, so we've got the Wand of Watum. This looks really good. This very much looks, you know, very comic accurate. I love uh, the little bit of wash inside there just to bring out some of the sculpt in the handle. So this looks great. It's got that sort of swirly metallic plastic. And then we've got, uh, I don't, I'm probably not going to say this right, Axe of Angarumus or Angarumus or something like that. Uh, so this is his double, double-sided double axe, and this has been seen quite a bit in many instances, but this is really cool. I'm sure we're going to see this again, right? Assuming we haven't seen it already, I, I can't remember, but this does look good. Uh, he does, you know, he holds these in his gripping hand, well, obviously. I will say the grip is not the greatest, like it's, it's angled funny, so the hand is kind of angled weird, so it's going to be held at an angle. Probably not the biggest of deals, but it's something that sort of stuck out to me. Otherwise, though, I really think he's got a solid spread here. Two energy effects, two extra heads, two hands, two weapons. I mean, realistically, he has pretty much everything you need. The only difference here is that there's a ton of stuff they could have given him, and this just happens to be what we got. But I do think it's a pretty, pretty solid array. So yeah, overall, this is a winner. It's definitely going to be one of those, if you didn't get him, you're probably going to regret not getting him down the road because... Even if you don't necessarily need a Doctor Strange, this guy fills a very specific hole in the entirety of the collection. We've needed this guy for a number of reasons for a very long time, and I think Hasbro really killed it. He moves well, despite the fact that he has the plastic cape. Uh, I think they did a lot to make this cape work really well. It does it does prevent some customizing easily, but you can work around it if you truly need to. But I think he's going to be great right out of the package for most folks. Uh, I do have some paint issues on my cape. It's not the best. It's not the worst. It is what it is. Uh, I think the overall figure kind of overshadows a lot of that kind of problem. And then he comes with a great array of accessories, a great sculpt, fantastic head sculpts, and he comes with, you know, some some crazy accessories at that, some, some deepish kind of cut stuff uh, that I think we wouldn't have gotten if he were in a normal wave. So in many instances, I am thankful that he was a Walmart exclusive of all places. Uh, I am really happy that he got a little bit more of a premium treatment here just to give him a little bit more pomp and circumstance because I've really been wanting this guy. So yeah, that's going to do it for this look at the Walmart exclusive Marvel Legends Doctor Strange. Let me know what you guys think. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time.